respected temple pujaris, the national president of the TISI Sangam, Mr. Sadasivan Naikar, the president of the TISI Sangam Suva branch, the manager and the management of the Suva Sangam College, the principal and the staff of Suva Sangam College, ministry officials, members of the Madhya Sangam, members of the media, ladies, gentlemen and students. Namaskaram and Bula Binaka to you all. Thank you for your kind words of welcome and introduction. I am honored to be here this morning on the invitation of the management of the Suva Sangam College in your Sadhu Kupasami Day celebration. August is a special month in the calendar of Sangam. It is almost 38 years all Sangam institutions have observed the Sadhu Swami Day in memory of the great soul who inspired and founded Sangam and through it served the community at large. He had a vision and foresight that ensured to set high standard for the future generation. It will be of interest for you all to know that Sangam flag reminds us of the need for living in harmony and respecting each other's beliefs and custom. In him, the community could see wisdom, living religion, and opportunity to serve. Sadhu Swami had a sense of right and wrong, and also a sense who is good and who is bad. Sadhuji's main aim was to unite the South Indians so that their culture could be preserved and promoted. As said by Elia Speaker, dressed in his white dhoti and carrying his black umbrella, this simple girmatia moved from district to district, house to house, inspiring the community in building schools and temples to preserve their language and culture. In fact, Sadhu Swami himself said, he rather die than to see his culture killed. Those were very strong words at during that time. Ladies and gentlemen and students, in a multicultural and a multiracial society like ours, we must strive to build unity on the basis of diversity. And it is in this effort that non-political organizations such as Sangam play a major role in binding people together. I urge you, the younger generation, to come forward to bear your share of responsibility in nation building. Change will not come overnight. Nation building is a long-term process. But I have every confidence of goodwill of our people. While we take great pride in what we have achieved after the general election, we must prepare to meet the challenges and the opportunities of the years that lie ahead. Just as nation building Sangam has come a long way in building 21 primary schools, five secondary schools, a nursing school, and temples throughout the country. The doors of all Sangam institutions have been open to one and all since it believes that education is the right of every child, regardless of their race or religious belief. That is the way Sadhu Swami would want Sangam to be for he was a man of love and service, and he gave his entire life in the service of his fellow being. Ladies, gentlemen, and students, lastly, I'm going to say a few words of assurance on education. I would like to assure you 
that the government is committed to the, to the development and growth of education in Fiji. And it will ensure that every Fijian child is given the best opportunity to be educated in view of having a smarter nation. And government will continue to provide free education. With that brief comment, ladies and gentlemen, may the Suva Sangam College continue to grow on the vision of its founder. I thank each and one of you, and may God bless us all. Binakasa.